laughing because we're so happy that life is <laughs> beginning to turn back to normal. One of the things, you know, we've been putting off, Sean, both you and I were just talking about this, is just our normal checkup health appointments. Mm -hmm. During COVID, we thought, no, I'll just wait a few months. I don't want to go into a doctor's office. Or, you know, I don't have COVID, so I'm fine, right? Yeah. Is it right? I don't know. Right now, a great time to kind of reconnect with your health, your body, for you and your spouse. And we have an opportunity of how you can do that here in the Valley. Absolutely. Dr. John Pierce is here. He's a medical director with Preventative Diagnostic Center. It's great to have you, my friend. How you been? I'm amazing. How are you two today? Doing very well. Good. It's great to have you. You know, there's some people that have been, you know, maybe putting off going to the doctor. Uh, maybe they had COVID. They're like, you know what? I don't want to catch that again. I'm going to stay away from the doctor for a bit. Just, I just want to. It, it, getting COVID it, it really it, it potentially could have detriment to your health for a while to come. They've been finding an increase in, in heart disease for those that have had COVID. Yeah, we've seen uh, about a 63% increased risk of heart attack uh, for people that have had the COVID infection. We see myocarditis, 10 times more likely to get myocarditis from actual COVID than you are from the vaccine. So, uh, you know, when I hear people say, oh, I don't want to get vaccinated because of this, I explain that to them. Um, you yeah. know, we see increase in blood clots and blood clots to the lungs because of COVID. And it's all because it attacks the endothelium or the inside lining of the blood vessel. And that inside lining protects clots from forming when it's healthy. It protects against uh, plaque buildup in the coronary arteries and it protects against plaque rupture when it's healthy. When the virus attacks it and weakens it, all bets are off. It's such an important conversation to have because heart disease affects men and women so, so incredibly. Uh, it's so incredibly prevalent here in this country right now. When it comes to a heart attack, doctor, everyone's signs before they have it uh, can be different. But what are some things we should look for? Well, you know, kind of to your point, uh, heart disease is the number one killer for both men and women. So, uh, and it's been that way for quite some time. Uh, and then to your second point, uh, signs and symptoms. You know, initially, I think when people are, are having some degree of heart disease, they may find that they're fatigued a lot easier doing activities of daily living or under stressful things. So you get people that go for a morning walk all the time, and now on that same walk, they're going, wow, I'm, I'm a lot shorter of breath, and uh, maybe I'm sweating, and maybe, you know, maybe they start to get a little bit of chest pain or arm pain or jaw pain. Those would be signs that, hey, I should probably go get this checked out. Even if those signs, that when you stop the activity, they go away. It's kind of like you're doing your own stress test. And it says there's something going on and some further investigation needs to, to take place. Now this, these are kind of early signs. And then if you're actually suffering from the heart attack, that's that real shortness of breath, doing no activity, diaphoresis, that sweating profusely. And you're not doing anything, um, you know, chest pain. It radiates down the arm, up into the neck. It, it, you know, it could be just as simple as I've got some indigestion kind of feeling. So yeah. there's a lot of different things. And, and you, you know, you got to be careful and kind of think of your risk. Uh, and if you're at a higher risk for heart disease because maybe you're overweight or you have diabetes or you smoke, you don't do, you don't take great care of yourself, that increases your risk. So if you start to have some of these things, you should really go get looked at. And this, I'm just thinking, you know, we've seen the COVID numbers and, and the deaths that have occurred from there, but then the excess deaths are actually quite higher than, than the actual COVID numbers. It leads me to think maybe heart disease has been maybe to blame for some of these things that was caused by COVID, which is scary. If we have an increased risk for any of this stuff, what do we do? How, how, do, we, how do we get a, a better look at what our situation is? Well, that's a beautiful part with our scan uh, at... Uh... Preventive diagnostics, we can, we can scan the heart, we can scan the lungs, we can scan the whole body, and we can see any, if there are any abnormalities. When we look at the coronary arteries, we can see is there a plaque burden that's been calcified, and that gives us an indication of the degree of coronary artery disease. And if it's significant, we might recommend that you go see a cardiologist for further testing mm -hmm. uh, to see that, that the blood vessels are not being impeded by that plaque burden. So, you know, we want to make sure that the heart muscle is getting fed with blood. Yeah. Uh, we can see, you know, issues in the lungs, such as an active pneumonia that is, is associated with COVID. Uh, or, or if we look in, in the other organs, we could see if there was a blood clot in the lungs uh, or a blood clot anywhere else. Uh, or, you know, so we've got a lot of Oof. things that we can see in that scan to see if there's any abnormalities and then kind of get that patient on the road 
to intervention or further testing if intervention is needed. I tell you, it's scary stuff. I was nodding because there's just so many ways in particular um, that people are feeling the effects of COVID. And so I'm nodding because I'm just sympathizing with everybody out there. Kind of there's this sense of uncertainty um, about our health. So preventative diagnostics, you have an amazing special. The opportunity here is to come down not only with yourself, but perhaps with your best friend or your spouse and get it done at the same time. Your spouse should be your best friend, I think, but maybe not all in all cases. <laughs> um, Good point. You know, what we want to do is we want to offer the scan. It's better than a two for one because we're offering two scans for $125. Typically, we charge $599 for an individual scan. And, and really quickly, uh, while you are doing that, you'll also tell them about new technology that's available. There's a, a virtual colonoscopy, which, by the way, Anything that makes colonoscopies better by the time I need them is great. Let's talk about this. 30 seconds. Wait, 30 best seconds. use of the word virtual, virtual ever. <laughs> yeah, yes, really. You know, the, the prep is the same, so we have to have the bowels cleaned out beforehand. But, uh, you know, instead of having a camera go in your backside and, and, and that kind of traverse the uh, large intestine, uh, what we do is we, we put a little tube just in the beginning of the rectum, and we, we literally blow air in there to expand the uh, large intestine, and then we do the scan, and, and it, you know, so it's very, very non-invasive. And you're back to back My to goodness. doing whatever you did right right yep. afterwards, which is great. Uh, it is great having you, doctor. Still sounds a little personal, but I'm sure it's better. Thank you, doctor. <laughs> Absolutely, a little personal. Yes, it is. But that's uh, <laughs> this juncture one of the only ways that we can get a, a, a look. Well, okay, so either, either the direct colonoscopy or our virtual scan is going to be a little personal. And either way, it's very important to do. Make sure you do yeah, it on, on it time. Is. Doctor, great to have you. Thank you for joining us. Thank you. All right, get your heart scan and calcium score for 125. That's for two people. Typically, it's 599 mm -hmm. a person. Mm -hmm. And they'll tell you more about the virtual colonoscopy uh, with the patients that come in, and you'll learn more about it. Very, very important for your health. PDCenterLV.com has more information.